I'll be talking about uh, predicting results of elections using internet fora, mostly interia.pl, uh, currently the biggest uh, internet forum about politics in Poland, since Onet changed the comment system to Facebook and no one comments. First, an important disclaimer, I will be showing some um, examples, and I'm not affiliated with any party, please take all of them with a grain of salt. These are only examples from the data. Um, so, when we are talking about mm, going and finding data for, from social media, most of the research is uh, centered around Twitter. Uh, as most of the uh, Western online discussions take place on Twitter or Reddit, but Reddit is smaller in case, and, and harder to post. So, we are looking for, for a data set, that, for a place where anyone can comment and share their views. We found Interiapel, um, and we gathered three data sets from them. One, uh, time span of 18 months, I, I forgot to write that it was like 2017, 2018, and we got 4 million comments for 18 months uh, under the articles tagged as political. Um, we said, okay, okay, let's see what we can do. We got uh, some poll results. I will show them later. And we said, okay, this can work. Let's wait for the next big election. So we waited. And three months before the last parliamentary election, we started gathering data again. And then in three months, we got two million comments. That's a lot. Maybe because the elections were nearing, or the, um, uh, the, the rest of the fora disappeared. As I said, Onet stopped allowing anonymous commenters to post the comments under the articles. But we had a lot of data. I don't know many uh, Polish research uh, data sets on politics containing millions of data uh, samples. And we also collected the last data set, last 10 days before elections, the, the, the final stretch. And we got around 300,000 comments alone in this data frame. So having this data, how do we find who's voting for who? Uh, detecting the passive detection of political association is easier than you may think. You don't search if someone supports one side or another. No, you search when someone hates the other person, yeah? the other party. It's very easy. We should find the words that allow us specifically to associate someone with the hate to the other group. And we can find and say, OK, they are supporting X or Y, because they are hating their opposition. Um, we can also assume if you are writing on the fora, you are agitated. You will go and vote. You don't write on the fora if you are not going to vote, because you want your voice to be heard. You write because you want to be seen and to express your hate, not support. Okay, so, so how to detect these hate words? Um, first, the, the, the common words that can be used by other side, like, like kurva or, or tihuyu, are bad, because they cannot be associated with any political context, um, and are often banned, just banned, uh, on this fora. So <coughs> users create new words. Invectives or nicknames for politicians that are um, created so they are, will offend the person, but we will know who they are offending and which side they are offending. And we gathered a lot of, a lot of examples using our uh, machine learning way. These are the examples from the two sides, to be plural. Um, how we gathered the words. As you saw, we had like, 2 million comments. In the data set before, we had like 10 million comments. The data set from the years past from Onet. So mm, uh, we found the seed words. We found 10 seed words, five against the right side, and five against the left side, and fed them into the word to vec algorithm 
build on, model build on all the comments. And what we found that when you put the word, for example, against uh, ex-president um, Rysef Komorowski, when you put, for example, Komorowski, you will find only the words that were used to insult him. The same with ex-prime uh, minister Beata Szydło. When you put one of the words, the only words that were near in the word, to vectors, word vector space were other insults. So we managed to easily get around two, three hundred words that were insults. And what was very um, interesting, most of the, th these words appeared in around 5% of all comments on the platform. So with a little work, we could get a lot of good seed for the um, classification model of who is supporting who and how we did that. First, we found the emotion evoking word, we found, used the, the, these emotion evoking words um, to find comments that contain them and users that wrote them. So, for example, if you wrote a comment that was insulting the left side, we assigned you as a right side supporter. And the other way. So, when we found the users, we said, okay, we know that you are actively supporting some side by attacking the other. So everything else you write will be used as a sample of supporting your side. And we got uh, a lot of comments supporting the right and the left side. Then, we, having this data set, we fed them to the Doc2Vec model to create a model that will allow us to say which comments are supporting which side in all the other comments we had. We had around, I don't know, this model was built around 20% of the comments from the users that were using uh, the emotion evoking ones, and the rest of the comments were new neutral. We didn't know what, you <coughs> what they were representing. So um, we built the model, and we had the model that could, in our, <coughs> without testing, first without testing on real data, that could say that the comment uh, will support left or right side. So we had the model, we had some result when we fed the comments through the model. Then we decided to fine tune it. So um, we gathered on, on everybody uh, website. They uh, have all the results from polls and elections dating back to 2015. So we got the data. From the data is public, you can just copy it into a Google spreadsheet and, and for example, average on the month scale or week, or week scale what was the poll support for the specific party. Um, so <clears throat> we get the data, we got the raw results for the poll support for each party, and we use the first, first part, the first month in case of 18 month period, or first 10 days in case of the three months before the election, to fine-tune our model, to find how the uh, balance between comments that we assigned using the model to be supporting left or right side was <coughs> related to the uh, poll uh, results. And what is interesting, we found a number around 0.9 of the, wrote, of the comments written. Uh, when we multiplied them by 0.9, we got the percentages uh, that were polled around the people. So these were the results. The lines, uh, the dotted lines are the poll results. And the solid line are the, oh, I forgot the, the legend. Uh, so the, but the, you, you understand the colors. You, for the Polish people know the colors. The blue are the, is uh, peace and uh, Zjednoczona Prawica. And the uh, orange one is PO and Levica. We clamped the block together. We don't have the, the other parties because finding, using, doing three-way uh, classification when the third site doesn't have, is harder to detect. Uh, we, we, we treated the rest as the rest, all the PSLs and cookies and Confederacje. So the dotted line, are the poll results, and the solid line are the results from, mo from our model. The, that was the number of comments posted in a given time frame that were the first 10 days of July, second 10, ten days of July, and so forth, uh, multiplied by the, the factor of uh, 0.9 that we derived from the first, 
first um, uh, batch of the data. And as you can see, these are the three percent point errors that are often uh, found when you read the polls, that the polls can differ by three per percent point. And we are yeah, nearly the same as the, as the uh, polls. Our support in, in the comments um, seems to be uh, less volatile. Uh, it doesn't change so much because when you poll someone, uh, when you call them or ask them via internet, they may not want to answer or answer in other way. When we are uh, detecting the support, you are just writing. You don't know you are being monitored. You don't know your text will be analyzed. So you are free of constraints. You can write whatever you want. Um, so when we approached the elections, we had the last 10 days. And we gathered the data from the last 10 days. It was the days be between uh, 1st and 10th of um, October. We didn't have data on 11th because we had to get the data before uh, and uh, feed the data through the model and get the results before there was a pre-election silence and we couldn't post the, the, the results <coughs> or talk about them. So we decided to predict the future. And we got this. And as you all can remember, during the final election, we got this. We didn't manage to get the, the left side block right, Levitz and PO, uh, but we managed to get Zjednoczona Prawica nearly exactly. What is um, funnier, if you looked back at the results we had for past weeks, these were the results we had. Something happened in the last 10 days, maybe because we were gathering data fast to get it before the elections, that we didn't catch everything, or, or someone paid people to post more. We don't know. <laughs> we have no way to be sure. Um, but I think this is mm, very interesting that our model that is completely passive can, with good enough results, can predict uh, elections in a um, two-party system. And, and polarized environment, so maybe it can be used, for example, for uh, elections in the US, where we have real bipartisan system, or the presidential elections. People are not going to stop posting, and the, because of how Polish um, political discourse looks, I think we'll get more and more comments and data. Uh, model, of course, can be tweaked and improved, uh, we are working on improving the model using other uh, classification algorithms and other uh, document representations to see if we can better catch the differences between supporting left and right side. Um, and I think you can expect us trying to predict the next elections using this algorithm in the next year. And uh, that is from me. And I welcome questions.